Today, your phone is an essential part of your life. People use their phones to shop, play games, run businesses, and even store confidential information. And that means it's a target for hackers. In July 2024, telephone and wireless provider AT&T announced that they had suffered a data breach. The breach happened in April, but it took months to be revealed. Let's talk about that. I'm Keetron Evans, and this is Hacker Headlines. In April 2024, hackers infiltrated servers belonging to AT&T, the telecom giant. The culprit is believed to be a hacker group called Shiny Hunters. This group recently spearheaded another massive data breach stealing millions of customer records from Ticketmaster. Both Ticketmaster and AT&T outsourced some of their data management and storage to a company called Snowflake. In the Ticketmaster case, hackers broke into Snowflake by hacking into one of their vendors, and this is known as a supply chain attack. We aren't sure how the AT&T hack happened yet, but what we do know is that in the past few months, more than 165 organizations associated with Snowflake have suffered thefts. Once inside Snowflake, assuming this is how the hackers got in, they access AT&T customer data stored on the Snowflake cloud. So what did they steal? ID numbers, addresses, no. They stole customer call and text records. These records show what numbers contacted each other, when and for how long. They don't appear to contain names or other sensitive personal information, but a hacker can link a phone number to a person with a simple Google search. All in all, the records of more than 100 million users were exposed and the hackers held that data for ransom. These call records are considered so sensitive and so valuable that it's a matter of national security. AT&T reportedly paid a ransom of $370,000 to make the hackers delete the stolen data. However, that's not the end of the story. It's very likely that the data is still out there and you should take steps to protect yourself. If you are an AT&T customer or you've spoken to one in the last two years, your data may be included in this breach. So what can you do? First, change your AT&T password. There's no proof that customer passwords were breached, but having your call records exposed may make you a target for hackers and your AT&T phone number can be used as a login on the AT&T website, which means half of your challenge to get into your account is already out there. Secure the other half by choosing a new long password that you haven't used anywhere else. Second, delete old or unused accounts and services. If you have unused accounts, then you have old information and passwords out there. If you're not using an account or a service, delete it. Third, use multi-factor authentication. Multi-factor authentication uses different factors to strengthen your account access. Even if a hacker steals your password, they still can't get in because they don't have all the factors. Being a victim of a hack is never easy but you can take these steps to protect yourself and others. Use strong passwords and multi-factor authentication and stay alert. Remember, hackers may call, but you don't have to pick up. Stay safe and I'll see you next time on Hacker Headlines.